this is Houston. You are go for staging. Over. Understand. Go for staging. And Stand by for mode four capability. Go mode four. Mark mode four capability. Mode four and Apollo 11 could get into orbit using the service propulsion system now. Altitude is 100 miles. Downrange 883 miles. Outboard engine cut off. And ignition. Ignition confirmed. Thrust is go. 11. And we have a good third stage now. Third stage ignition on schedule. Speed building up just the way it should. Looking very, very good. Velocity 23,128 feet per second. Downrange 1,000 miles. Altitude 101 miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. At 10 minutes, you are go. All right, you're 11, go. Capcom, Bruce McCandless giving the reports here from the control center. A relaxed Neil Armstrong saying, ah, Roger, we are go. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Predicted cutoff at 1-1 plus 4-2. Over. 1-1-4-2, Grinch. Downrange 1,175 miles. Velocity 24,190 miles feet per second. Altitude 102 nautical miles. Apollo 11 still go on all sources. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go at 11. Taking away the last three seconds. We're predicting third stage shutdown at 11 minutes, 42 seconds. And Apollo 11 is just about ready to go into orbit in a few seconds from now. Velocity 25,254 feet per second. Downrange 1,400 miles now. Altitude, uh, 102.8 nautical miles. Shut down. Shut down right on time. 1.4 by 103.6. Roger, shut down, and we copy 101.4 by 103.6. Roger, shut down, and we copy 103.6. And Apollo 11 is in orbit. Scratchy. Uh, Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. When the third stage is fired, the astronauts will then be inserted into an Earth parking orbit. The guidance system has already computed the trajectory needed to intercept the moon. The confirmation of that trajectory or course will be relayed by Houston to the astronauts. Two hours and 40 minutes after launch over the Pacific, the third stage engine will be restarted, and when an escape velocity of nearly 25,000 miles per hour is reached, Apollo 11 will be injected into a translunar trajectory. Soon after, the panels of the spacecraft's lunar module adapter are jettisoned. The Apollo command and service module then separates from the booster. The astronauts start the docking maneuver, rotating Apollo 180 degrees, and then, using their small thruster rockets, dock with the LEM. The third stage will be jettisoned when the docking maneuver is completed about two hours after translunar injection. The astronauts, using star sightings backed up by mission control, guidance radar, and computers, then work up the data to make mid-course corrections and set their course to intercept the moon three days later. Depending on how accurate the rocket engine burns to get away from Earth, none or as many as three mid-course corrections may be needed. Apollo's speed decreases from 25,000 to less than 4,000 miles per hour en route. Then, near the moon, as lunar gravity begins to exert its influence, the speed of the spacecraft increases up to 6,000 miles per hour. Apollo 11 is in a free return trajectory, which will carry it around the moon and back to Earth for recovery if problems have developed. 
But if all has gone well, Apollo 11's onboard service module engine will be fired and the spacecraft will be placed into lunar orbit. Because of the danger of mechanical failure, all of the systems can be overridden by the astronauts if the automatic systems aren't working perfectly. 81 hours into the flight, Armstrong and Aldrin transfer into the lunar module for the second time, completing their checkout of the lunar landing spacecraft. They remove the docking probe and drogue from the tunnel connecting the command and lunar modules and equalize the pressure in both vehicles. The lunar module pilot then floats through the docking tunnel overhead and into the lens. One of the first tasks for the lunar module pilot is to activate the lens environmental control system and to change his suit connections to the lens umbilicals. Now, today, today the moon is the target, and we're going to get the word on that TLI burn coming up in just a moment now from Mission Control. And we're now 14 seconds away from TLI burn. Mission Control is counting down. There's ignition. There's the word from Mission Control. Ignition over the South Pacific for the translunar insertion burn. We confirm ignition, and the thrust is go. Thrust has built up to get them headed up to uh, escape velocity speed of 25,000 miles an hour. The burn took place over the southwestern Pacific, two hours and uh, 24 minutes into the flight of Apollo 11. Okay, it's looking good. Let's go to mission control now for the talk down to the separation maneuver. Capcom the canvas saying he copied, but we very faint transmission. Let's see if we can pick it up. We can run the separation here on the ground. Separation confirmed. The third major hurdle of the flight accomplished. Next, that docking and extraction of the land.